So, with the new Albedo banner out, most people are wondering about if you should roll for Fischl. Now, I will say yes, yes you should roll for Fischl and here's why. So, I've not even built her properly. I have like, I have plus two, like, I have no good artifacts on her right now because I'm, I'm trying to get full Thundering Fury on her but I haven't really. I mean, I could take it off of Lisa but I'm pretty sure, yeah, Lisa's got the full set, and I'd rather, and you know, I, I can get a flower or a mask, but that's not the point. She's level 16, she does a decent chunk of damage, not as not as much as my Beidou, but my Beidou is like fully built. I'll probably make a build guide on how to play Beidou, because she can be one of the best DPS in the game, in my opinion, for some for a very cheap price. But, so I have to put up Crescent on her, I would recommend the Recurve Bow, but I made this for Child and I just swapped it over, because the Recurve Bow benefits um, spam, spam clicking. Fischl has a lot of spam click, so, so I, you could build Thundering Fury and get like a max that out, or your other option is you could do Bloodstained Chivalry. Which a two-piece bloodstain and maybe a two-piece gladiators will probably benefit you a lot more than than maybe four-piece thundering fury. It depends. You can use her as a main DPS or a sub DPS. I keep her as a sub DPS person because of Oz. Again, I need to level. I'll, yeah, I can. Le I can level up her talent. Do a bit more damage. But. Her main things come from her normal attack, if you want to use her, or her, what she makes her so versatile is Knight Rider, which is her E, so she summons Oz, which deals a lot of damage, and which basically means her entire kit can be up just by her not being on the field. Obviously she can, she can turn into Oz and just fl and fly around dealing some more damage, and if you have Constellation 4, you can heal, that's all good. So. I, I'd recommend, if you are trying to roll for her, Constellation 1, very good. Constellation 2 is also really good, because, uh, and I'll show you why, and uh, Constellation 3 is also amazing. <laughs> so her first three Constellations are really great, but she's also amazing at C0 anyways. So let, let, me, let me go and show you, so we've got some Hilly Chill, so what you can do is, okay, uh, I'm roughly the same level as them, but See, so you can aim where to throw Oz. No. So you see, so already 80, 92 damage, and even with like one K attack, okay, he's not attacking them. But you, you, it's okay. You can just redeploy him and run away. So, so you, you can obviously spam when they're up when they're up close, which will do a which it does quite a bit. And that did 3k damage right there. Then you can spam again. You see, what benefits Fischl so well is that like is that Oz can stay up on the field, which means she can be very versatile in any team comp. Like she can be your main, she can be your sub, she can go anywhere. Like maybe like have a jungling support, maybe have a Fischl. Of course, I'm gonna say Barbara because I love Barbara, but keep those three up, and then she's amazing. See, and she also can do a, a bit of elemental damage. Throws down. It's another 2.6k. Because that, that was that wasn't even a reaction, but as you can see, it's very simple to do a lot of damage. And it's and again, it's not like I have mu I have much going on here. I I literally have. So I've I've only got the two piece set which benefits electro damage, which will benefit Oz's attack quite well, but obviously Oz's attack is based off of your attack. So So therefore you, you wanna try and go for electro damage as well. But if you wanna go like yeah, electro damage goblet, if if you got one. I don't know if I have one. Yeah, I, I've, got, I've only got a green goblet, so I don't have an electro damage goblet at all, so I can't benefit from that. But two piece thundering fury, 
or four piece if you want to use her as a main DPS. If you want to like, if you want to spam click, I'd recommend two piece Bloodstained, two piece Gladiators. She's very versatile in her kit. Like, there's lots of different sets you can build on her. Whereas some characters, I don't know, like like Child, I haven't got like I've I've not got the uh, full piece for Water yet. So again, there'll be there'll be another there'll be a video on that. But and like Beidou, she she benefits quite well from four piece gladiators. Young Ling, you want you want four piece Crimson Witch. I've not leveled those bits up either because I've not got good main stats on them. Yeah, you know, like Mona. Mona benefits from four piece Noblesse, but Fischl, she's very versatile, and she can also do a lot of damage. For other free to play weapons, I'd recommend the Recurve Bow, the other one that isn't a Proto Attack present that you can craft at the Blacksmith. For Vonius War Bow. Energy recharge. If you like using her burst a lot, go for it. But early game bows, I'd say Raven's bow. That's okay if you want to build some. If you want to do some elemental damage, slingshot is okay. But you gotta be like up close, or you gotta be doing the damage quickly to do that. Sharpshooter's oath. That's it's decent if you got nothing else. Messenger, that's that's okay if you got one. So there's a lot of you got a lot of options for bows as well for Fischl. Unlike Child, where no free to play bow actually helps him. I've swapped a bow by the way, so he does have he did have Protect Crescent on. I just I've just swapped it for for his purposes here. Obviously, talents you wanna you wanna level up um Oz. Can I do it again? Yeah, I'll do it again. Can I, can I go again? No, okay, I need another book, but... Yeah, le you want to you level up Oz quite a lot here. Okay, her two other things is that she can do some extra damage. And she does some more damage. If you if you cause elemental reactions. And her talent is just lowers expedition times, which can be useful. I'd say she could be paired up quite well with other elements. So maybe, you know, water, fire... That's the main two elements you might want to pair up, so maybe you might want to get a Xiangling support. Or maybe maybe even Xinyan if you if you want that those kind of shields going on. Water. Obviously you're not you're probably not gonna have a Tartalia -tar -tar lying around. So Barbara, she she's good. You know, Zinc Zinq Zinq is amazing. But yeah, apart from that, that's why you should really build Fischl. She's extremely just versatile, really, and I could probably make a better in-depth build guide when I get the when I get the better artifacts. As you can see, I'm only adventuring 44. I I've not like no life this game as hard as most other content creators do. I, I I just do I just use my I use my daily like resin. I I don't buy refills because I'd rather get characters than artifacts. Because I, I can get an, like you can get artifacts easier than it is to get wishes, and because that, that even with the blessing of the world community, you get less than one pool every day. It's probably more beneficial to try and just get your pools done. So yeah, that's about it. Like yeah, please please like and subscribe. Please, I need subs. Only six percent of you are subscribed, and yeah, I'll see you all in another video.